Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to our video. Now, Vehicle Legends seems to be in some big trouble right now. In today's video, we're going to explain why, so make sure you stick around till the end. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, you might be asking, Carter, why is Vehicle Legends in trouble? They've never had a problem with car removals, well, until recently, but we don't need to worry about that. Why are they in trouble? They said this won't happen again. It might, though. Let me explain why. So... Basically, Driving Empire bought licensing to Pagani, and then Vehicle Legends had to take off sale all their Paganis to prevent any issues with Driving Empire. And they've also decided to uh, take off sale Hennessy. Now, the reason for that, I don't know. I'm predicting that it means that Driving Empire will be adding Hennessy cars soon. But hey, it's all up in the air. I really don't know. It's just a prediction. Um, but let's say Driving Empire purchases more car licensing. What do you think is going to happen? Vehicle Legends will have to remove the cars. Now, also, if you think about it, with all these car companies partnering with Driving Empire, I'm sure other car companies will start to notice, hey, this Roblox game is getting, you know, partnerships with these car companies. Let's try to partner with it. Let's try to get our cars licensed with them. Well, here's the problem. Now, I mean, these car companies start to take a look a lot more at Roblox, and they already, you know, started to realize that games are using their models illegally, and they've asked for games to remove them, such as Southwest Florida, Greenville, and even more. So, they already kind of know what Roblox is, but this will just help them know even more. So, all of that leads them to being on Roblox a lot more and finding Vehicle Legends, potentially. And what does that mean? Uh-oh, Vehicle Legends is in big trouble, guys. Because all these car companies are going to find out just like they did with Driving Empire. And here's the thing about Vehicle Legends. I don't know if it makes as much as Driving Empire does to be able to pay for car licensing just like Driving Empire. So, Vehicle Legends might be in big trouble. But, don't worry, I have a few solutions. Let's talk about those. Now, I know this video has been pretty negative so far, but don't worry, we got some positives right now. We can talk about all the solutions. So, first off, buying car licensing. Now, many people said it's not possible, it'll never happen on Roblox. Driving Empire just proved all those people wrong, so who knows, Vehicle Legends might be able to do it. But I don't know if they make as much money as Driving Empire does, so we'll just have to see if they could afford it when the time comes. Now the next solution, this one's the more realistic one that we gotta talk about it. We're gonna talk about it for a bit in this video right now. So that is returning back to fake models. If you didn't know, Vehicle Legends used to make some fake models, and I'm gonna be honest, they were pretty good fake models. Hey, I mean, before we saw Driving Empire's fake models, we thought they were bad, but now if we look back at them compared to the driving the tires, um, they aren't even that bad. And oh my god, every time I go around the map, I freaking crashed into this area right here. I always go flying off right there. Anyways, back to the video. So, yeah, I mean, they could return to their fake models. They already have a ton of them. I mean... They are some of them aren't the best looking, but they still are kind of better than the driving empires fake models So I don't know um, but yeah, I mean that's that's one solution Um, I, I don't think it's a great solution though because they, they don't really look that good So, you know, we have that solution. They could purchase licensing as well. I mean eh, I don't know if they could afford licensing fake models. No one really likes it. I Mean those are the only two solutions though. What else are they gonna do guys? Um, so yeah, you know, Vehicle Legends is in big trouble. Uh-oh, what are they gonna do? Who knows, man? This is a big, big problem. Um, I'm gonna try to think of some more solutions and I'll let you all know if I come up with them. So I just came up with a solution. It's kind of unlikely that it would work, um, but I mean, there's a chance. Um, and that is that they don't buy licensing from car companies. But instead, they could, like, try to do a special event with a few car companies. I don't know if, um, all car, obviously all car, car companies wouldn't accept this, uh, offer if they requested it to them. Um, but that is that they do, like, a little event in the game. Like, you know how they have the, the Vehicle Legends Halloween event and the Vehicle Legends Christmas event? What if they do the Vehicle Legends X Bugatti event? Like, where they collaborate and, like, make a event, for example, where... Hey, Bugatti's coming to the game for us for one week. Go ahead, get all their special cars, purchase the game pass. 50% of the revenue goes to Bugatti. Or, you know, they could just do, hey, come play the game, you know, get the new Bugattis. You just have to complete this race a certain amount of times or get this many event points. I don't really know how it would work, but that's one potential. But once again, they would have to get all these car companies to agree. And, you know, Pagani and potentially Hennessy already have deals in the works with Driving Empire. And I don't think Driving Empire would like that very much, so Pagani and maybe Hennessy, you know, I don't know if they would, you know, really go ahead and do that with Vehicle Legends. 
Um, yeah, so that, I don't know if this solution is a very good one, but I do have one more, and that is that if Driving Empire decided to, you know, share their licensing with other games, but I don't know if they're even allowed to do that. I'm sure it's in their contract somewhere that they're not allowed to do that, and it's exclusive to Driving Empire only. And why would Driving Empire want to help their competitors out? I'm being honest. It's easy to say, oh, Driving Empire might be nice, but no. They paid a lot of money for the licensing. I doubt they would share it with other games, even if they had the option to. So, it's a very low chance that any of these solutions would work, except for the fake models one. And it really is unfortunate, but hey, they have a lot of time before this will happen. It'll probably be at least a year or two until Driving Empire, you know, can get a decent amount of car licenses acquired and they could actually do something about these other games. But for now, we just have to, you know, hope that Vehicle Legends comes up with a good solution. So yeah, drop a like if you enjoyed this video. I would truly appreciate it. Subscribe, ring that notification bell so you never miss another upload, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.